Now at 11, you know, in our digital age of music streaming, vinyl records seem to stand the test of time. In fact, they are almost selling just like they used to. Channel 3's Leon Bibb went to a Cleveland record maker to understand how they got their groove back. There is music in this room, sandwiched between machines whirring and whomping. Inside this Cleveland building, a mechanical band of a kind drums out a nice beat. Music in the grooves of vinyl records. But hold on, not ancient discs dusted off someone's old turntable. New stuff in 1970s lingo, groovy. But you caught a wave with this and vinyl. Um. Yeah, we'd, we'd hoped, we'd, we thought it was going to, you know, continue, and in fact, that's exactly what's happened. Musically, this is vinyl country, rock country too, jazz, folk, a lot of it. In Cleveland, Gotta Groove Records presses the old way, which has become the new way. Vince Slusars has a good beat going at Gotta Groove Records in Cleveland. I'm gonna look into seeing how you get in this business, which the trick was trying to find the presses. He went looking, found them, and brought them to Cleveland. That's when the music opened up and a younger set heard vinyl. Some of them shouting, vinyl puts out a better sound. <laughs> Business is so good, got a groove, works 37 employees on two shifts, keeping the beat going. Mostly because there's a younger demographic that's buying into the format. But just like a record, there are two sides to vinyl's story. The other is what we humans psychologically want. Humans want to touch the music, not just listen to a streaming melody. But it's the experience, you know, it's a big tangible thing that you're buying, so there's a, a perceived sense of value. Well, that's all psychology talk. All I know is I grew up with vinyl, and that brings me to the story of an old childhood girlfriend who stole my heart so much I needed a vinyl rock and roll melody to soothe my teenage hurt. This is my first vinyl record, a 45 rock and roller <laughs> from my junior high school days. I bought it because of a girl I liked. Since I don't have you by the Skyliners. The girl's gone, but the record's still here. Ah, music has memory. Which is part of this story. Some of us remember the heyday of vinyl, recalling musical moments of our youth. For vinyl newbies, they're only looking for a better sound. <laughs> Whatever, vinyl pressing record companies have it rocking again, saying, let's let it roll. When we opened, there were 12 plants, I believe. And now, I think at the end of this year, there's gonna be 30 in the US. With a bit of music insight, for Channel 3 News, this is Leon Bibb reminding you what goes around comes around. Rock on vinyl, rock on.